I'm going to use this simple rectangular block as our example for creating a new drawing file by referring this 3D CAD model which is currently residing in my folder. The name of this 3D CAD model is example underscore 12. This 3D CAD model has been generated using inches as its dimensional unit. We'll go to file, new, drawing tab. Under this, select the appropriate units based on your 3D CAD model. And currently, I'm choosing inches since our example part is generated in inch and we can choose the drawing size based on the standard or based on the part dimensions. Under this relationship option, choose reference existing part. This option will allow us to choose the existing 3D CAD model which has to be linked to this drawing file. We can use the section part to create a drawing of for choosing the existing 3D CAD model. So currently it has been choose example underscore 12 as a default 3D CAD model since it is loaded in the current session. We can choose the 3D CAD model based on our requirement by Launching this browse dialog, choose this part and click OK. OK. We'll close all these options and select this view. We can see all these options in detail in our forthcoming video. Click OK. And I'm just giving some dimensions for our tutorial purpose. So now it has been shown the width of this part is 6 inch and the diameter of the hole is 1.5 inch. So we will check the part navigator. UGNX has populated these drawings, sheet and uh, view names automatically. And this drawing indicates that this file contains the drawing and the sheet indicates the sheet number and work active indicates which sheet currently we are working with and the name view names indicates the views which is contained within that particular sheet and if you notice these items very carefully you can see a green colored tick mark so this symbol indicates that the drawing information are up to date and everything is fine with the 3d model relationship We'll check out our assembly navigator. The 3D CAD file has been called in as a component to this drawing file, which means this is following a master model concept. So our 3D model and the drawing file are linked together. So let us check the link or the relationship between the 3D model and this drawing file now. We can use this Windows option to toggle between the other 3D or .prt files which are currently open or in the current session. Okay. So notice here even though our GUI shows the 3D model still we are in NX drafting application and we can identify this from the ribbon menu. So to modify this 3D model, we have to invoke the modeling environment, go to file, all application and select modeling. So now from the ribbon menu, you can identify all the features has been the toolbar has been modified to suit the environment. We will modify our part dimensions. So I'm changing the width of the part from 6 inch to 4 inch and the diameter of the hole from 1.5 inch to 1 inch. We will exit the 
package environment click ok we'll toggle to our drafting environment so now you are seeing a 3d model so to view the drawing sheet you have to invoke the drafting application to invoke the drafting application go to file all application let's select drafting let's click ok now the drawing sheet has been showed off in our screen if you look into the views still the views is reflecting the old dimension it has not reflecting the current modifications whichever we have made just now we'll check our part navigator now in the part navigator earlier all these items were showing a green colored tick mark now all these green colored tick mark has been changed to a clock symbol and also in the bottom left corner of your gui window uh, the instruction has been showed off saying out of date so basically this clock symbol in your part navigator indicates that this drawing view or the drawing need to be updated or not up to date in the current session so to update this drawing view you can use update views from the menu bar menu toolbar or you can just select your view you can use this update from this pop up selection option or just select your view use your third mouse button and you can use this update option or you can go to part navigator just select this clock symbol and just click on the clock symbol so now the part has been updated and it start reflecting the latest modified dimension 4 inch and 1 inch the diameter of the hole so now let's see the last part of this drawing file so the last section is to save the file go to file just click save so this will prompt a save dialog box and notice the name very carefully in ug naming convention is very important factor to identify your part outside of this ug environment here the ug has automatically took the 3d model name which we referred to this drawing file and the dwg indicates that this file has been generated using drafting application and the dart prt is the ug nx extension as you are aware already and if you are interested to modify this name you can modify it by keying in your details here and this section allow us to check our destination folder so currently it is selected to the tutorial folder just i'm giving okay and the part file the drawing file has been saved to that location let's check this out let's go to file open and you see you can see that our new drawing file has been generated successfully here and it is separated from the 3d model which means it leverages a uh, multiple users to work on both the cad 3d cad model and the drawing files concurrently